Hey you guys, thanks so much for clicking on the video. Just wanted to stop in really quickly and do a haul video for you. This haul video is going to showcase all of the books that I've purchased in physical form for this year. Um, it's not gonna be very long. I have a couple of things that I'm really excited about and just wanted to show you guys. And then I'm going to leave links to the books that I've purchased in e-reader form down below in the description bar. So let's get started. If you've watched my channel for a little while, you know that I am a Stephen King fan. And recently Stephen King came out with Finders Keepers. It is the second book in what I think is going to be a trilogy in relation to the main character, who is an ex-cop by the name of Bill Hodges. I'll be honest with you, have no idea what this one is about and I really don't care why, because it's Stephen King and it doesn't really matter. <laughs> so, Finders Keepers by Stephen King. <laughs> Along the same lines of I love it and it doesn't matter will be the next couple of books that I purchased. I love The Wizard of Oz. I love everything about it. I watch it every single time it comes on television. Doesn't matter when or if it like comes on. Sometimes it comes on and just plays over and over and over again and I'll sit all day and watch The Wizard of Oz. Why? Because I'm crazy. Anyway, I've seen Wicked and I have read all of the Wicked books. I also love The Wiz, which is the African-American adaptation of The Wizard of Oz. If you've never seen it, I implore you to find it and watch it. It stars Diana Ross and Michael Jackson, and it is awesome. I'm supposed to be talking about books. <laughs> so, with all that being said, I had never read the original Wizard of Oz which is a little odd, but I found The Wizard of Oz. This contains the first five books in The Wizard of Oz. And then I also picked up The Emerald City of Oz, which has books six through 10 in it. So I'm excited about these. I've never read them and I love The Wizard of Oz. So this should be like a no brainer. Another obsession of mine. is The Walking Dead and I'm so excited. Okay, sorry. So excited to have The Walking Dead Compendium 1 and The Walking Dead Compendium 2. I'm so excited about these and I know that there are more issues after the last one in here and that's fine. I'll get around to figuring out what I'm going to do about that once I get to the end of this one, but Okay, obsession's over. <laughs> Let's get to the last couple of things that I picked up. Told you this wasn't going to be a long video. Um, these are books that I picked up just randomly on a whim, either because of Instagram posts or because I used to have them and don't know what happened to them and they disappeared and I needed them back or I just liked the cover or it was just cheap and I bought it. First random book that I picked up is The Mastery of Love by Don Miguel Ruiz. Someone I follow on Instagram had a picture of this. It was like their vacation read or whatever. And I love the little uh, synopsis they gave at the bottom of what they were gathering by reading it, what they were, how their lives were enriched by reading it. So I thought it would be interesting. It's the practical guide to the art of relationship, not like a love relationship or anything like that, but just relationship with people. Um, so I'm kind of interested to read this. I have something else by him. Four Agreements? I have Four Agreements and I haven't read that either. So maybe I'll get to that at some point. I did one of those things that I do. So if you've watched my channel before, you know that I buy books based upon the cover. And I bought this one based upon the cover, but also based upon the title. The title of this one is I'll Never Get Out of This World Alive. And it's by Steve Earle. I think one book, one review did a review on this. I haven't watched it, but I think that I saw in my timeline somewhere that she did a review on this so if you're subscribed to her go over and watch it I need to go over and watch it but I just bought it because look at that that's just so pretty and that title like how could you pass that up like I hope it lives up to all this hype that I've 
concocted in my brain about it. Next in that same vein is going to be Kings of the Earth. It was really cheap. I think it was like $2 or something like that. And the title kind of caught me. So I picked it up and I read the synopsis. It's a story about some brothers. Um, sounded like it was a little interesting. Not something that I probably would normally pick up and read. But I'll give it a try. It's like $2. It's um, Kings of the Earth by John Clinch. I'll let you know what I think. These last two books I picked up because I had them at some point and then I don't know what happened to them. So Juneteenth by Ralph Ellison. If you don't know what Juneteenth is, um, I guess you can Google it. <laughs> My mom says that. I'm sorry. <laughs> she doesn't know anything about computers. But she knows how to Google. So I digress. Anyway. <laughs> Ralph Ellison is also the author of Invisible Man, which is one of my favorite books, and I need to reread that actually. But um, yeah, I had this at one point, and I don't know what happened to it, so I picked it up again. And lastly, I used to have all of <laughs> the Zora Neale Hurston novels in this cover art. The illustrations are done by David Diaz. I don't know what happened to them, but I've been searching for them for forever because I think they are so beautiful. I think the cover co colors are really vivid and I love them. So every time I find them online, they're extremely expensive, but I found this in my local used bookstore and I'm so excited to have it. I'm going to have to keep searching because they're not pretty. It's just so pretty. Anyway, I've read this a couple of times. Um, I read it when I was younger in, I want to say grade school. I think I read it in like the fifth grade and then I had to read it again for um, junior high. But that, that cover art. So the publisher is Harper Perennial. Cover design by Susan Noli and cover illustration by David Diaz. I don't, if you guys know where I can get these reasonably priced please leave me a comment down below because I would love to have all of them again and that is going to be it those all the books that I've bought between January and now in physical form like I said earlier in the video I'm going to leave some um, links down below for the books that I purchased in e-reader form some of them are kind of help bookish I don't I've been on this kick of like help self-help finance fix and setting boundaries and learning how to live a better life. I don't know what's going on with me. I'm getting old. Anyway, <laughs> there are also some other um, interesting, what I hope to be interesting reads that I picked up as well in either iBook or Kindle or Nook form. So I'll leave descriptions for all of those down below. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and a fantastic week and I will see you again soon in a book review video or maybe like a pop-up question video because I do have a question to ask you guys so I will be back in another video thanks again for watching and have a great day bye